Welcome to Ucanic. Today here on Ucanic we have a 2015 Jaguar F-Type and on this Jaguar F-Type we're going to go over the process in which you go to be able to remove your SRS module or the airbag module in case you need to send it in to to be repaired because the airbags have, have gone off. So to get to that module, the module is behind this down at the bottom and under this stuff. So to get to the module, you're gonna need to be moving your seat forward and backward because we've got one bolt down under here on both sides that we have to undo. So your seats will need to be able to be uh, moved forward and back. And then you'll need to pop off this cover on both sides and just, you can work your way on both of them from the front. Front and to the back, all the way, and be able to get this to pop and come out. And like I said, you would do that on both sides. And then once you've got that done, you'll be able to raise this up and then you can pop this. That little piece out. And also there are um, two bolts, well, no, one bolt right here. That's a 30. One on the other side, that's a 30 uh, Torx 30. As, and as well as one that's back here, and that's why you can move your seat forward and back, and those are two, both 30s. And then once you've got that out, then that'll be slightly able to move. You'll notice some electric, you can't see right now, but like in this hole here, there'll be some electric pins pushed in there. I'm holding a bunch of electric wires, so when you get that undone, those are things that are going to get in your way for when you go ahead to be able to pull this thing out. So once you've done all of that, what you need to do there, this right here is your um safety park neutral switch so if you pull this your vehicle will be able to roll um, forward or backwards so you want to make sure you're on a good level surface and that the um the tires are chalked because you will have to pull this and bring it up and as you bring it up it pulls a cable that releases and there is a, um, a torch right here i believe it was a torch 20 to undo now so once you un have undone that then you can work this out and we are going to push it out this hole in the side here to get it out of the way so that when we pull and remove this out there is actually also this cover that is covering that so you'll pop that off first then you'll get to this point where you're ready to try to pull this up of course you will have already removed this back cover here so this was the back cover that sits down through those tabs snaps into the back here and we've um, popped and removed that cover. And then that way, this is the actual CD player. It's right here. And our module we're looking for is actually under that CD player, but to get to that, we need to be able to, to pull this out. So when you get to this point, you'll have this popped up and you'll try to pull it out and you won't be able to completely pull it up and out because there's this electric connector. This is so you can put your USB for charging your, your phone or tablet and then you have just a standard USB for your audio on this side and then a, um, a 12 volt cigarette lighter connection. So what you need to do, you take a screwdriver or a good prying tool and you just kind of pop this piece in to here. You don't need to undo the electric connectors, which you can, but you do need to pop it in. And once you pop it in, you'll be able to pull this up it gives you the space to pull it up past the CD player and then you can bring it backward and when you pull this up there was electric on this side and a little plastic um, they're pressed in there and there's some on this side on both sides and you'll find them as you're pulling it up you know which ones you need to kind of pull up and then the cape and then you'll be able to pick this up and you have to do what you can to maneuver the front and be, then that way you can twist it to the side to be able to put it down. There is one small speaker wire here that you will probably need to, as you have it popped up like this, that you will need to undo to be able to get the movement you want out of this, out of the electric. And then you have these two clips here that are clipped up in there. They're a plastic but metal clip inside. They clip up in there to hold this up into place and you'll need to have a screwdriver from in this side while you have this popped up pulling it up and you'll want to pop these down to give you the, an, 
necessary space to get it. So now you've gotten to this stage. This is the CD player and the components for it. There are two screws that are right here, and they are a T25 that you'll undo on both sides. And then once you've undid that, then you will be able to pop this up and to pull it forward. It's got little tabs here on the back that hold it into place. And so once you do that, you're able to pop it up and pull it forward. And then that way we have this undone. And you wanna have, the, maybe if you had the seat slid forward a little bit, but that's out of the way. Then we'll need to remove this panel to get to the ABS control module, which is under there. So those are a size 10. So we have the four bolts out, then we can take off that cover plate. And we have the electric connections. We have one bolt down here, one bolt right here. Okay, so that's a, a size eight. We have a size eight millimeter to be able to undo the two bolts that are holding this power back module in or SRS module sometimes. We have three total bolts, one more back at the back. So once you get the uh, three uh, bolts undone, you'll be able to pull it out and forward. And then these clips, we press the black tab, then twist to unlock, or not twist, but pull the switch back there, press the tab, and be able to pull to unlock that. And that is the removal of your airbag module, SRS module, and then you can ship this in, have it repaired, and then you'll put it back on your vehicle to be able to have that codes removed from your dash panel, and then your airbag system will work properly. So that's how you remove it, um, just a put everything back on in the reverse order and you know it it is pretty tight spaces to work in so it can be a bit of a work to get it undone thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic